Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture I will be telling you about control array. The reason I am recording this lecture is because I have seen a lot of my friends as well as my junior who are doing the same code again and again for different buttons or different any controls and uh, that code is totally common like for all the buttons the code is common so instead of d doing it one time they are replicating the code again and again so I will be telling you how to make control array in today's lecture and as well as I will tell you how to reduce your code and how you th the control array help you in reducing the code so for the today's lecture I will be using windows form application so for windows form application you have to go into windows windows uh, like c sharp windows and then windows form you can name your project now uh, in this uh, in this project i will be showing you different uh, things like uh, different controls and how they work because i have seen a lot of time people are not aware of fully aware of how events works okay so just uh, try to understand if you already know then it is a good point okay now i have uh, like dragged two buttons now if I double click on it, it generate me a event for button 1 and if I double click on button 2, it as well as generate the new event for me. Now what is the difference between a method and an event? Okay, This is the main, uh, you can say main key of understanding uh, control area. Now there is one major difference between but, uh, event and any method, any other method. Event will never return any type. It is of always of void type. Okay, second event will always have two arguments one will be the sender and second the event information this is what we require for control array now who is the sender when a button is clicked so this button one will be the sender because it is sending the event and when button two is clicked for this event sender will be the button two so both of the button do belongs to same class because they both are button so their parent class is the same but that is button class so now let us make a breakpoint here so that you can understand it more easily when I click on button 1 if you go into the sender it will show me the base class is system.windows.form.button base and if I click on my button 2 the sender is again the same uh, system dot windows dot forms dot button base but, uh, button like being for both of the button the class is or the base class is the same that is button base the, the thing is senders identity change like this is button one and this is button two so for the control array the main thing is the sender type should be the same okay now this is uh, w this was all about events now coming to the example I have pre, pre, pre prepared some of the example for you now this is one of the example in this what I'm doing is I have this button one which will be showing its text uh, as a message like number click this one for button one because button one is having text one and similar for button two I have called it the same and similar for button three I have called it the same it is just displaying a message box with button three and so on and for button four also now let me show you the output of this one oh sorry different form selected solution explorer program sorry okay form one now if I go here, if I click on this, it will generate me number click this 2, it will generate me number click this 4 and so on like for all the buttons. Now if you see the work which we are doing here in all of the button is the same. We are just displaying the message. Just one thing is changing is when we are retrieving the text in the button 1 uh, event, it is button 1 and for the button 2 event, we are retrieving text from button 2 and for button 3 and button 4, we are uh, like uh, retrieving text from respective button now but the common thing is for all of the event base class of all of these controls is the same these all are buttons so the base class will be button base so one more thing now see uh, event people most of the people what see is like button 2 underscore lock click means it is button 2 event this name doesn't represent properly like which uh, for which button this event is because if I if I go into the button 2 and go into the events and if I just remove this click from here and if I run this now button 2 will not fire any event still the code is there the reason is I have removed this event name from the button click event if I type it again then it will start calling that event again so what if I change this 
all uh, other button click with button 1 I will just replace it with button 1 again I will replace it with the button 1 and again I will display it with the button 1 click so now if I fire the event again so every time even if I'm clicking on different button they are firing only one event that is button 1 if I will put the breakdown then you break uh, breakpoint then you can understand now it went for button 1 even now if I clicked on button 4 even again it came on button 1 so one thing is understood like just the name of this uh, event doesn't describe like which button or which object it does it belong just from the name you cannot tell so what will uh, what we will do is we will delete all of the other events we will keep only one event now what I told you initially is whenever if I okay let me show you again if I click button one again the center class is base class and for button two also the center class is base button so means sender always belong to the same class so what we can do is for making it dynamic what we will do we will make a object of reference object of button and we will see say to the dot net like that cast sender as a button and put its reference in this obj button so what we are doing is as we are fully aware of like this event will only be fired by buttons only okay so what I'm saying is the sender cast sender as a button type and put it as uh, its reference into this obj button now instead of using this button one dot text I will be using button obj button dot text now what happens is if I click on button one the sender is the same base type but the text is one but if I click on button 4 the sender is button 4 and the text changes uh, and the and basically the text is the same uh, text changes and the base class is the same so with this what happens is I am able to achieve same task from one event only by dynamically casting the sender into the appropriate object now one more example for it let me show you one list box example okay now yes uh, list box example now I have this three list all of these three list what they are doing is whenever we are selecting any item it is popping up the message and showing which item we select we have selected for the list two also the same code is there and for list three also now if I try to run if I select like USA it will show me the USA when I select India it will show me the India when I select any text from here it will select send me uh, like give me the output from that now in all of these three events the common thing is all the time the type of sender is list control because this all three are list box so what we can do is I will copy the name of this button uh, list box one dot selected index change and for other list box I will change uh, replace their event with this one now see in the event selected index exchange for button list box 3 I have used select list box 1 dot select is underscore selected index change and for the other one also I have used mm. so list box 1 for uh, even for list box 3 list box 1 for list box 2 and list box 1 for list box 1 now what we will do is we will just delete all of other events now what I will do is at runtime I will say I want a list box object and I will say cast sender as list box and put it uh, put it referring to the obj list and I will copy this obj list box and replace it with the list box one now at the runtime it will decide which list we have selected if I select it this one now the selected item is Britain and the base class is list control as I told you if I show now the message is this now if I select anything from last one now if you see selected item is they and the send uh, like the base class for list box is list control and I am what I am doing I am casting sender into the list box so that I can use the intelligence and at one time I am using this obj list box for displaying the message now same code is working for my all three list box 
now this is very good example now one of the main example which i will show you is how to make calculator screen i will not be completing the uh, like making a complete calculator but i will show you by calculator how you uh, like for calculator how you use control array now in this i have 10 events for each button like one event for each button so there are 10 buttons here like from 0 to 9 and each button what it is doing it is adding its text to whatever the text is already in the text box so uh, when i will click one it will add one into the text box when i click two it will add text box text that is already one and it then it will add two after it now so on now let me show you what is the output of this one so that you can be more clear i plus one now i press two now i press zero so it is just adding that it's the button text to the text box text which is already there it is not replacing the text box text it is concatenating its text with text box text and then putting that combined text with into the text box now in this example also all the buttons are doing the same code they are just combining their text to the text box text and putting back into the text box so how you can get rid of it just copy button one underscore click and go into the other button go into the click event just replace it with button one dot click okay now all of the buttons are having button one underscore click as their click event now what we will do is i will just remove other events which i don't require and now what my task is as my sender will always belong to button class so i will say i want an object and i want to cast sender as button this is the syntax for casting if you are just not aware of it now what i will say is whosoever the sender is get a text and combine it with the text box one now my output for this example is again the same all button are working fine so from this example you can understand like how you can uh, like can reduce your code similar code which are you doing on different events for same kind of objects by placing them in under one and then doing the code and according to the sender you can take the appropriate decision so this is how you reduce your code and this is what a control array is that all the con but controls are sharing a common method common event okay so if you still have any question you can reach me on my email id let me type my email id my email id is yogesh.mahela at the rate gmail.com my phone number is 90 oh, plus 91 9023262520 and you can download this uh, example from my website that is text from www.techsapphire.in so if you have any question you can reach me i will be happy to help you so stay uh, healthy keep learning